Meyer from Sacred Heart Fremont, and this is News 6. Mr. Ron Hoffman has been a Mickey Mouse fan for years. Our Julie Godden has that interview. When did you start the Mickey Mouse collection? In September of 1972. I was a senior at Bowling Green State University. Why did you start the Mickey Mouse collection? Well, a friend of mine gave me a, a yellow mug, and there was a Mickey Mouse decal on the front of it. And the bottom, there was a little music box, and when you picked it up, it played the Mickey Mouse theme. And I thought this was a very unique item, and so I started collecting Mickey Mouse items. Why do you like Mickey Mouse so much? Well, Mickey is such a happy character, and when people go to Disney World, they're always smiling and having a good time. And I thought, well, why not collect Mickey Mouse items and share my happiness with other people? Because Mickey makes people happy, and so I'd like to do that, too. How many items do you have? I have 344. What are some of your more unusual items? Well, I have a Mickey Mouse telephone, an antique miniature tea service, the little cups and saucers that have Mickey and Minnie on them, and it's stamped Occupy Japan, so there's no real date on it. And I also had a, a set of cardboard records, and there's a plastic covering over them, which you probably don't know about, but older people will remember. And you would cut them off the cereal boxes, and you could play them on your record players from the plastic. And I also have this Mickey Mouse music box, and it's dated 1952. And I'll play it for you. This is Julie Gatron reporting for News 6. The sixth graders of Sacred Heart know that crime does not pay. Our Andrew Neeling has that report. One of the most interesting places in Fremont, Ohio is the BCI, Bureau of Criminal Investigation. The Bureau serves police and chief sheriff departments in all northeastern Ohio. The director of the lab is Mr. Dale Roach. He told us that the lab he told us that the BCI lab can test a substance to find out if it is a drug. They can also tell what kind of drug it is by using an ultraviolet and an infrared instrument. Microscopes can be used as well. The lab can also lift and identify fingerprints, test bullets to see if they match a particular gun, and test fire guns. The lab is equipped to test blood samples and to make identifications from the samples. BCI also has a polygraph or lie detector that is sometimes used to question the suspects in a crime. Mr. Roach told us that one of his pleasures of his work is when he can assure the police that a suspect is not guilty of a crime. The city of Fremont features a lot of great careers. Mike Brown interviewed Mr. Don Wong, a local restaurant owner. Where did you learn to cook Chinese food? At Hong Kong, when I was a little boy, you know. Uh, you know, in Hong Kong, the kid go to school. You have to uh, pay the money. No public school over there. So my family, Paul, 11 years old, I have uh, worked in the kitchen. So until now, I think I have uh, 20 something years experience for the cooking. Where do you buy the ingredients for the Chinese dishes? Uh, both from uh, California, uh, San Francisco, some from Detroit, some from Chicago. How is Chinese cooking different from American cooking? You know, uh, Chinese uh, cooking is a uh, I think it's a little difficult, you know. You have to wash the vegetable, not over cold, you know. Hard, hard to learn, have to take a long time if you be a good cook. Could you give an example of one of the dishes that you cook? Yeah, like that, like that, make the, make the duck or make the chicken, you know. If you want the skin crispy, you know, uh, you have a uh, like the picking duck, you know, we have uh, prepared at least 10 hours, you know, uh, we put the Chinese spice inside and uh, pump the air in the, in the, in the duck. 
then they put some uh, onion, no, uh, I mean uh, some uh, honey, you know, on the skin, hanging up, maybe 10 hours, dry, then put in the oven, the skin crispy. And This has been Mike Brown from the Peking Restaurant reporting for News 6. Precision in action are a part of the military, a local color guard unit. New 6 reporter Bridget Sims has that story. Fremont, Ohio has a color guard unit called the Militaris. The Militaris are a marching unit consisting of boys and girls ranging from 8 to 19. The organization has been around since 1958. They march, dance, twirl ri rifles, flags, and sabers to popular music. In 1978, they traveled to Cleveland, Ohio, where they were Ohio State champions. Two months later, the militaries traveled to New Orleans where they participated in the national championship. The event was held in the Superdome and the group took ninth place. The Color Guard unit has a lot of fun where they travel on the road. Each year, the group travels to Canada, Indiana, Illinois, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. The militaries placed in the high 60s and low 70s out of a possible of 100 points. Last year, the group was awarded the title of Most Improved Guard. 20 other units participated. The militaries march on Memorial Day, Labor Day, Christmas, and in state parades. The instructors spend a great deal of time thinking of a routine that will impress the audience. The group has three dedicated instructors. They are Ed Cagney, Brian Henderson, and Linda Gibson. The group spends between 4 to 15 hours a week practicing. If you would like to see the garden action, show up at the Fremont Ross High Gym on March 15th at 6.30 p.m. Skiing is a fascinating sport. Tom Wolf has that report. The fourth to eighth graders of Sacred Heart had an opportunity to learn cross-country skiing recently. On February 6th and 7th, we were visited by two ski instructors from the store camp in Jackson, Michigan. The two ski instructors travel in a van with a load of skis from school to school to teach the students how to participate in the sport. The instructors' names are Barb Wright and Roxanne Comer. They ski as much as they can when there is snow. January and February are the two best months for skiing. Most of the instructors are college graduates who enjoy teaching people how to ski more than they would enjoy office work. The instructors teach children as young as six years old. They also teach entire families. Cross-country skiing was a great experience for everyone who tried the sport. This has been Mike Meyer from Sacred Heart Fremont. Thanks for watching News 6. Next week's show will feature Bowling Green Kenwood.